everyone. I hope you all are Friday's gone wonderfully and it's the weekend and I finally received the backpack from Louis Vuitton this morning and I was so excited to show you so that you can help me to know whether you see on my face whether I like or love the bag because I have to love the bag. If I don't love the bag, I won't use the bag. It's just like clothing. If you wear it and you love it, you're always going to wear it like you want to wear it right out of the store. It always works, but if I have to think about it, I never use it. If you never joined me before, my name is Jennifer. I absolutely love designer handbags. They can be contemporary designers, they could be luxury designers. If you're into that stuff, please subscribe. We can be a community that shares ideas and thoughts and hit the like button and hit the notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded my next video. So this is a backpack from Louis Vuitton. I literally, this is gonna be a first impressions because the first time I saw this backpack was at one of the airports and I just saw a lady at probably standing at one of the uh, boarding sites for her airplane and just literally saw her for a split second as we walked by. So I didn't even have time to stand in line and look at her backpack, but I thought it was really, really pretty. So I started going online and noticing them. And then I went on the Louis Vuitton website, tried to buy it. I texted my two sales associates. They both didn't respond, so I figured we don't have it at our store in St. Louis. So I called Louis Vuitton and they had to um, find it in two places. There was one in Chicago and one in Miami. And I picked the one in Miami because that's where my husband's from. And I always have sentimental value with whatever I buy. This is seriously going to be my last luxury designer bag purchase because this ends a career of 20 years as an obstetrician and it starts our new career in integrative medicine and conventional gynecology. I've had the most best 20 years of delivering babies. I tell you what, every single one has gone so well. It's because of the Lord. Like he does it all for me. So here we go. The sales associate in Miami works at Saks Fifth Avenue and he got this and he put it all in a shipping box and then even lined the Louis Vuitton box with this really nice Saks Fifth Avenue paper. <laughs> okay, here we go, you guys. Um, oh. It came with the, another receipt in the Saks Fifth Avenue black envelope. And then, here we go. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, I've never seen this. It's a, it's a drawer, not a magnetic closure. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's a really good size. Okay, here's the sales receipt. His name is uh, Juan Carlos, I think, but he's going to leave his card in here for me as well. Oh, I've never seen them with the stickers still on. Oh, this is the dust bag. Oh, do you see? Oh, look, 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 look. It's a Sperone BB backpack in Demier Azure. Oh my gosh, I love her. Now, the feature, this is a backpack, obviously, with a top handle. It has one ring here and then two side rings where you attach the straps. It's the strap. Remember I said there's one feature about this on reviews on YouTube that I'm really worried about, so let's check it out. Um, the straps are supposedly very long. This has a magnetic closure, which is really cool because I looked at the Sperone backpack, which is the bigger size, and it has just this um, kind of belt loop closure, and I didn't like that. Plus, there was a review, I forget who did it, and she said that the Sperone regular size backpack, which is bigger than this, is actually heavier than her Palm Springs backpack. So I went with the Sperone BB, which is this little baby size. Hi. And then you um, have a little open, or you have a little side pocket here They can put a few things. I'm a little concerned just because it's small, but um, I will see, I'll have to put all my stuff in here and see if it works. Okay, here we go. This is the Rose Ballerine lining, which is gorgeous. And when you open the bag up, this has the Demi Reserve, which is good so my fingerprints don't get dirtied on them. Oh, the lining's really nice. It's a suede microfiber lining. On my Clapton backpack, it was a cloth, really pretty rose ballerine, but this is beautiful. It's a microfiber suede. It has one pocket at the back and then an open compartment. And I like these on reviews. They do hold well, these straps. These are the ones that I've been worried about ever since I ordered them from Miami. Supposedly these straps are very, very long 
and the girl who reviewed them, her name is SM Luxlove. She's my height, she's 5'6", and she ordered custom straps because they were too long. So let's attach them and see what happens. And then you kind of tell me whether I'm in love with this or I'm just doing it because I want to remember something or if I should keep the back. So comment below, I'm going to attach these. So I've attached these two right to the center ring and then I'm going to attach them to the lower rings. But I've been looking for a good backpack. I sold my Clapton, Clapton backpack that was in that really pink with the Damier Abine because I um, wasn't using her as much. So I was hoping to get a lighter colored backpack. So we'll see. What I'll do is I'll need to do a review and what fits in there. That'll be, I think, the next video. And then what we'll do right now is I'm going to swing the camera around and do some modeling shots to see how long this sits on my body. Thanks a lot, you guys. I'll end it here. Please comment below what you think my face looks like and then just let me know. It won't hurt my feelings if you think it looks great, it looks bad, return it, don't return it, keep it. I appreciate it. You'll have a great rest of the weekend. Bye. Gotta lighten up like Sammy Sosa.